All right, so um, I've had uh, somebody out there ask me about setting up a Pia 9700 system because he just bought one, and uh, I'm going to make a little video here to explain how to set up a basic patch on it. Now, um, for the purposes of this demonstration, just pretend that this unit right here, that this one is here. This is a homemade module that, that I installed and the standard thing for a 9700 is that the oscillator goes in this part so just pretend that's not there all right so i'm just, i'm going to be patching up here and then back so you just just ignore that all right first thing midi in if you're going to be uh, using a midi setup put your midi cable in there from whatever you're using keyboard controller and for this purpose for the basic setup all the dip switches are pointing that way they're all flipped to the left uh, so it's in uh, mode one, channel one. And they have this kind of strange thing where in order to have the VCOs in the right pitch range, what they want you to do is to turn the power off, hold down low C on your controller, turn the power back on, and then release that bottom C note, and you'll see the MIDI activity light light up. You can see it, I don't know if you can see it blinking there, but it is dimly. But that shows that there's MIDI coming in, and that sets the pitch range of the uh, converter here. All right, and again, forget these little labels I put on there. That's for a, a different mode setup, so we're just going to pretend that these are all blank. All right, first thing is control voltage is out from pin number one. So we're going to take the jack from there. We're going to patch that into the voltage control oscillator P1, upper left-hand corner. That's pitch one. And on the, the uh, Pia system, pitch 1 and pitch 2 are normaled together. So if you don't put anything different in here, the two are connected internally, which is very handy because you don't need a second. I mean, you can do something independently with that one if you want to, but you don't have to. Okay. And then jack number 3 down here on the MIDI to CV converter is your gate, uh, output gate or trig, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to use a, a Y cable. In this case, I think this is called hopscotch, but you can use the uh, uh, tip-top audio um, stack cables or anything. So we're going to put that in there. So every time you play a note, there's going to be a positive output here. Now, to do this as simply as possible, just to demonstrate a basic patch, I'm going to take the output of this, and I'm going to put it in gate over here on the VCA, bottom left-hand corner. The PIA modules always have the modulator at the bottom, down here, and uh, the uh, filter and oscillator have just attack decay and amount, but the actual VCA has attack decay sustain release, and it does not have an amount. But if you're going to use it the classical way, you're going to connect that. Okay. <clears throat> Output on the oscillators are triangle, square, uh, I'm sorry, sawtooth, square, triangle and sine on oscillator one and then triangle um, I'm sorry sawtooth square and triangle only there's no sign on oscillator B so I'm going to take just for demonstration square wave of oscillator one and I'm going to put it in filter A alright I'm going to take square of oscillator two here I'm going to put it in a filter B alright now, the outputs of the filters are high pass, band pass, and low pass, times two, it's just duplicated. And I'm not sure what it is with my setup, it almost seems like there's something wrong. I mean, I've done so much messing with this system, maybe I did something to it, but the low pass doesn't seem to be working right. So, in this case, I'm just going to take band pass, and I'm going to put it in left, but you could put it in left or right, there. And same thing here, into the right, left and right, going from the two filters. So we have a pitch control going in, two oscillators coming out to the filters, there's two filters, and the two filters going out to left and right, and then the output to your amplifier, or whatever you're using to listen to, is the A output over here. And with all that in place, it should work. <laughs> Okay, so you can hear, I'm playing the keyboard. The 
pitch controls here. I'm going to move this up to, there we go. For some reason the high pass is working better than the low pass, which isn't really the way it's supposed to be, but, but there it is. Now I can hear a little bit of the sound bleeding through and I've never been able to get that to stop, but you know, in most situations it's not going to matter. But anyway, you play your keyboard. So because this pitch is playing both, these parallels, these oscillators are just playing in parallel, so you can tune them to whatever you want. I'm going to take the balance control. Goes between the two. There. There are their two in the same note. But I can take this one. Whatever. So this gate is controlling the sound by this VC by this uh, ADSR over here. So you can turn the attack up. Right. And you can turn the release up so that it lingers. And if you want, you can make it repeat. There's, and you can't, I'm going to unplug that. There's an indicator light there that you can't see because the patch cable's covering it up. Now, fun little thing with the, uh, they've got a noise generator built in. If you unplug the left, you'll hear noise come in. Which is pretty cool because you can turn that off and any note you play will have some white noise in. And you put in trigger, makes a great drum. If you don't want the noise, you just plug that in. Now, the other end of this Y cable can go to the filter, well it can go anywhere, but in this case I'm going to route it to the filter uh, envelope generator here, the modulator, and it is normaled to the frequency input, not the audio input, voltage input, so anything I do here will be activated here and added. We can add, we can turn up the, do, the uh, release. And it repeats too, they all do. Which is fun. But if you put it in the gate, it will hold it will hold that open until you let go of it. Which is nice because you can turn up the release on the ADSR and have two things happen. It'll only start uh, doing its modulation when you take your finger off the note. And so on. Or you can put that in trigger and just have it blip. And of course you can also put your gate signal in here in the gate and have it hold on as long as you want. Or if you put that in gate as well,
Okay, I'm going to put that back in trigger because I like it that way. We can also take the output of any modulator and route it anywhere you want. So I'm going to reach over here and get a cable. You can have lots of fun with weird sounds by taking, for example, this one. Uh, this is normal to the pitch input, so this modulator is now changing the pitch of this setup. Okay, uh, I can take that, I can take this gate and put it over here, put that off of cycle. And if I want to, I can take the output of this one and put it in anywhere. And have it override the pitch from here so now it's acting independently because I plugged something in here. Or you can put it in here. Turn the amount down. Or have it repeat. Okay, or we can take this modulator output and have it go into filter frequency, modulate that. Right? Or we can turn that off, and one of my favorites is to turn on a modulator. and have it affect the balance between the two oscillators. See if I turn it on. There's that one and then there's an inverted version of the same thing. So, anyway, there you have it. There's a brief introduction to the Pia system, and of course you have a choice of uh, sawtooth and sine and triangle waves for more mellow sound. And another fun one is uh, filter resonance. If you take that, so there's all sorts of possibilities and uh, hope this helps.